everyone and welcome to a very lonely episode of Massey Art Studios. I'm Lee and there is no Jeremy. That's because this episode is just going to be my episode. It's 15 minutes long and I'm going to kick off the pouring with the fellas. We were super excited to be asked by Garrick Brown who put this collaboration together to come and join six of our fellow fella pourers in this really wonderful collaboration proving that the fellas or the guys can do it just as good as the gals or can we i guess you guys are going to be the judges of that and please let us know in the comments exactly what you think now i'm kicking off this premiere train next we've got dominic Sherl, that's paint and bear after that you've got a trillion watts then you've got a left-brained artist then you've got Garrick Brown, then you have Jeremy from Massey Art Studios, and finishing off is Pranal Arts. So you've got seven mini 15 minute premieres to hopefully sit through. Please do go and check out the other artists. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing because the guys would really appreciate it. And you have some very, very different styles, different artists, some people that like to prefer to do resin, some people that are more education and tutorial, some people that only do Dutch pours. So you've got a little bit of everything as you go through here. Um, without further ado, I am going to get to a ring pour in a dustpan on a diptych. Yes, it's going to be really fun and Donald makes an appearance too. So thank you so much for allowing us the chance to be here with you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm going to get to the table. Hello, ladles and jelly spoons. So, as you've just heard, this is the all-male review, and I'm really excited to be kicking this off. What am I going to do? I'm going to do what I absolutely love doing probably the most, and that is a ring pour into Donald, and then I'm going to pour that one onto these two 12 by 24 inch canvases, which together will make a 24 by 24 inch canvas, but it's going to be a little diptych. And uh, I'm not gonna do my normal composition of going down this end and stretching it. I'm gonna do something maybe a little unusual. So we're gonna see how this one goes. A little diagonal action. A little diagonal action, exactly. Now I'm gonna talk you through these colors as I pour them in this cup because we only have 15 minutes to pour. So let's get to this, Jeremy. This one right here is Master's Touch and this is Lake Blue, which I absolutely love. It's a wonderful, wonderful color. And this is Pearl Electric Blue that's had some turquoise added to it. Mm. And there's not a huge amount of difference between those two colors, but just enough to help me isolate the two. Let's go in with some Emerald Green by Master's Touch. It's a really beautiful color. Thank you. Doing some little thin layers to start off with. This is just some Pearl White. This is also Master's Touch. Now this beauty is Quinacridone Burn Orange by Goldens and it's mixed with a little brass by Deco Art. It's a little heavier of a layer now. And I'm going to put that right next to a very, very small layer of gold. Like literally just a touch. Now I'm gonna chance some, no I'm not. No I'm not, I'm gonna go back in with the Lake Blue first. I chickened out. I'm going to put a little bit of pearl, then I'm going to go in with this really vivid lime green, it's called. I love it. And it is vivid, so there won't be too much of it in there. Uh, let's go in now with the pearl electric with that Phalo. deep phalo turquoise added, which I love. Super cool colour. Um, because it's a pool, I'm going to go straight in with the emerald. Let's put that next to the emerald green. I'm going to do an isolation layer of pearl white. Back in with the quinacridone. I love this colour. You do love that colour. I really do, and I don't like orange, but it takes it into this really like luscious colour. I don't know, it's just a wonderful, wonderful colour. Back in with the lake. I don't know how that lake blue and that quinacridone is going to look next to each other, but you know, we're, we're going to, we're going to see. 
tiny bit of pearl. Some darker blue, which I'm going to put right next to the emerald. And then I'm going to finish this off with my favourite on the table, which is the quinacridone burn orange. And I hope I've got some really lovely kind of thin layers there because I really wanted that with my ring pour. If I could now layer this dill dustpan for you. Now I'm going to pour a little bit of pearl white into the pan first just to help me pour this one and I'm going to go over the lip too because it's a rubber lip. I'm just going to grab my cup of paint there we go. and we're going to ring pour directly into the pan. Is that good for your jewellery? It is. Okay let's do this. Okay, white. Let's get this wonderful ring onto these two beautiful canvases. stretch this one out first. All right, now I may go back in and add some more interest in the corners, but I really want to stretch this out first and see how far I can get these rings to stretch along these canvases. So this is maybe one of many, but this is number one of tilting time. <laughs> now I'm going to separate these two canvases just so that I can tilt these one at a time. I'm going to start off with this one first and see what happens. Let's do tilting time number two. Tilting time. Before and 
the walls know every story I have told Memories flash in front of me I see them clearly A life I won't hide is sealed in this house of concrete and stone There you have it folks. I love it. I really enjoyed using the two canvases and using the dustpan to create a really interesting kind of pattern on the pan. Um, I really, really did love it. I would definitely do this again and play around with base coat colors because I really do enjoy the composition. Yeah. So there we have it folks. This is Lee from Massey Art Studios for the pouring with the fellas. This is my piece and um, I'm going to take you guys in for a close-up so you can see exactly what it's all about. Thanks guys. So there you have it folks. That was my pour in this 15 minute premiere for the pouring with the fellas collab. Next up, we're going to Dominic Schull. That's Dominic Schull Fluid Art or Paint and Bear as he is on some of his other social media channels. And I think he's doing a really wonderful like rainbow style swipe. So um, please follow us over there. And then you've got the rest of the artists up the, for premiering back to back for the rest of the evening. And um, if you haven't already heard about this, please come and join me tomorrow for my birthday pour, which is a pendulum pour, 36 by 36 inch canvas. It's gonna be a heck of a lot of fun. Jeremy's up in about an hour's time. So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. Please enjoy the rest of the guys. And uh, I'll be seeing you very soon. Good night. <laughs>